If you want to play Division One baseball, then this is for you. The average Division One exit velocity is 95 miles an hour. So if you're nowhere close to that, you can kiss your dreams goodbye. Don't worry, I have good news. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact three-step process that you need to take to hit rockets all over the field. So if you're not serious about playing D1 baseball, then this probably isn't for you. If you dream about playing at a top D1 school, then you're going to want to stick around because I'm going to show you how to do just that. In case you don't know me, my name's Ian Jenkins, and I failed, so you don't have to. I've flown all over the country in search of the best information to make myself the best possible baseball player I could become, so I hit the ball the furthest, the most consistent on the field. I've consulted the best minds in the country to build you an exit velocity program that I guarantee will get you results. I've hit the ball as hard as 116.1 miles an hour, and in 2019, I was in the top 10 twice for the hardest baseballs hit in the country, and one of them was the hardest home run hit in the country at 113.5. When I was in high school, my first perfect game showcase, I hit the ball 92 miles an hour off the tee. A year and a half later, I brought that all the way up to 105 miles an hour off the tee, having the highest exit velocity off the tee in the country. You're probably thinking, Ian, we know you hit the ball hard, but how can you help me? The three components of this program are strength, power, and rotational acceleration. The first component of this program is strength. When I was in college, I benched over 345 pounds, and I believe that was a big reason as to why I could hit the ball so hard. So if you're not hitting the baseball hard, the first thing you can do is get stronger. In the program, I take out all the guesswork and teach you exactly how to do that. And the second component of this program is power. My strength coach at the University of South Carolina told me all the players with the highest exit velocity moved weight the fastest with their lower body. And not only that, but the most weight with the most speed. So in this program, we're going to show you how you can become the most powerful version of yourself. And the third component is rotational acceleration. Strength and power are very important, but there's a lot of guys who are strong in their weight room and still can't hit the ball hard. The third component, rotational acceleration, helps bring it all together. So my junior year, my weight room numbers were great. And I was really strong, but my rotational acceleration was my limiting factor. And because of that, at 215 pounds, I was only hitting the ball 92 miles an hour. But once I started incorporating med balls into my routine, I taught myself how to rotate more efficiently. And that's why my exit velocity jumped to 105 miles an hour just a year and a half later. This is the master class of all exit velo programs, and you're never going to need to purchase another one again. This is a personalized program that's based off of your deficiencies, so we can get you to your goals the fastest way possible. So no matter if your weakness is strength, power, or rotational acceleration, this program will turn your weaknesses into strengths. And not only that, but your strengths will be that much better with the structure and guidance of this program. So if you want to take control of your career and make it happen, then book in a call with me today and we can see what we need to do to get you there. Reminder, this is only for the athletes who have aspirations of playing at their dream school. If you don't have aspirations of playing at your dream school and you're not willing to invest time and money to get there, then this is not for you. This is only for athletes who are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. So if that's you, book in a call and we can see how we can get you there. Listen, Earning a D1 scholarship is hard, and only a few people will do what's required to be worthy of earning that scholarship. If you're a good athlete and the only thing holding you back is not hitting the ball hard enough, what would your career look like if you hit the ball 5 miles an hour harder? 10 miles an hour harder, or even 15 miles an hour harder? How many more opportunities would you have? What if that ground ball got through the infield instead of being fielded? How many more hits would you have? How much better would your batting average be? And you might even draw more walks because pitchers are afraid of you. Putting yourself in better counts so you can hit for more power. So if you want to learn how to increase your exit velocity, book in a call with me and we'll get started right away.